It's time for Mount Vernon Rams baseball on WMIX. On your radio at AM 940 and online at MyWithersRadio.com. Rams baseball is presented by the official voice of the Mount Vernon Rams, Banterra Bank. Banking with local style. The Mount Vernon Rams on WMIX are also sponsored in part by Ford Square in King City Chrysler. You can count on us. Community First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back to Personal Banking. State Farm Insurance Agent Tony Wilt. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Second Chance Auto. Good Samaritan Regional Health Center. Raising a hospital. Raising the bar. Schmidt Chevrolet of Mount Vernon. Rend Lake College. Visit your virtual counselor at rlc.edu. And also by the Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois. Heartland Accounting. All Stars and Stitches. Bean Insurance. Central Christian Church. And People's National Bank. It's time to join Chris Hugo and Danny Zerwinski in the 94 Sports Mobile Studios for Mount Vernon Rams Baseball. The Ren Lake College pregame show starts now. And to welcome you to Wadi Herzog Field where the Altoff Crusaders call home. The Crusaders 2-2 two and two in this South 7 Conference matchup against your 8-2 Mount Vernon Rams. Chris Hugo here with you today. Danny Zerwinski back at home on assignment. And, of course, this is your Ren Lake College pregame show and at Ren Lake College. You can find over 100 degree and certificate programs that will save you thousands of dollars on your collegiate education. Find out how at rlc.edu. The Mount Vernon Rams opening up their South 7 Conference play today. The Altoff Crusaders, these two teams have had some hardy battles over the years. And one can think back to no further than 2009, but the conference experimented with the doubleheader. Final game of a doubleheader, Mother's Day weekend, and my knee Mike Swin, and it's a walk-off grand slam. So went into the mouth of the Rams. So some great memories between these two teams in both places. Of course, Whitey Herzog Field in the Citizens Park here in Belleville, where the Crusaders call home. Part of a Cardinals care field that was put together back here in 2003, if I'm not mistaken. So they're able to get this nice facility here. has a nice concourse behind us, and we're sitting behind the backstop. Some uh, nice red landscaping rock to, of course, set apart the grass and the concourse. Of course, Red Lake College visits them online at rlc.edu. You can find over 40 excuse me, 100 degree and certificate programs. Again, they will save you thousands of dollars on your education. We need to take a break. Here, a message from our sponsors. When we come back, we'll talk more about the Mount Vernon Rams and the Altoff Crusaders and their 2012 campaign. So this is Rams Baseball on WMIX. How do you spend your Saturday mornings? Wake up, grab coffee, get something to eat? Why not add a little WMIX Saturday Sports Show to your Saturday? From 8.08 until 10 o'clock, we have guests, discussion, and fun involving the regional sports topics that matter to you. It's the pick-me-up you need to start your morning off right. It's the Saturday Sports Show every single week on WMIX AM 940 and online at MyWithersRadio.com. Presented by Crossroads Community Hospital. Hello, this is Hunt Bonin with People's National Bank. We are proud to be a 101-year-old family-owned bank. We take pride as a bank in having products that are customer-friendly, with free checking, good CD rates, great mortgage products, and many other great products. We have everything to meet your banking needs. Stop by any People's National Bank and see what banking with a family-owned bank is all about. People's National Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. This is Chase Landers with Landers Collision Centers. Our new Mount Vernon location is bigger and better than ever, allowing us to be the best at repairing your ride and offering premium detailing. We're fully equipped to handle your vehicle and get it back on the road faster and like it rolled off the showroom floor. Landers Collision Centers believes in maintaining the highest quality repairs in the collision repair industry. We also believe in making sure your insurance claim is handled quickly and even give you a car to drive while we restore yours. Now, we're also equipped to offer everyday premium detailing. We'll restore that showroom shine and that new car smell. That's right. We'll be more than happy to clean up your ride and get it ready for any occasion. Any vehicle that comes to Landers with over $2,500 in damages is entitled to two absolutely free details per year with an opportunity to keep our work looking spectacular as long as you're on your vehicle. This is Chase Landers with Landers Collision Centers in Mount Vernon. Big or small, Landers fixes and details them all. Call us at one landers Whenever you need us, that's 1-888-LANDERS. For more content, like WMIX Sports on Facebook. Back to the Rams on WMIX. And we welcome you back to Altsoff. Whitey Herzog Field here in Belleville where the Crusaders call home as the Mount Vernon Rams open up their South 7 Conference play here today. 8-2 on the year. Got a big win yesterday over Montini. Off of the bat of Hayden Paninski, he had two runs batted in yesterday 
in his first appearance of the year. Tyler Ellis got the win to improve to 2-0 and on the season. Today, the Rams will sit down to a 2-0. and Jared Anthes will make another appearance here on the season. It will be his fourth start of the year. Did not pick up a decision in Monday's victory over Benton as it was pitched by committee. And it's only pitched one inning for the Rams in that tennis victory. But a 2-1 win yesterday, a 2-1 loss on Tuesday to the Effingham Hearts. So the Rams looking to basically salvage this week here. They're 2-1 already on the week. No one has fall to 500 here today. I guess an outside club who fell yesterday, 8-1 to to the Waterloo Bulldogs. Bulldogs came into that one with an 0-2 mark having fallen to the Mount Vernon Rams previously to open their season. They come in, get an 8-1 come from behind win yesterday over these Crusaders, who appear to be a little short-handed here on this Thursday afternoon matchup. Some rain in the area, of course, as the radar does not look too promising as far as rain. However, it shows rain right over us. Not much is dropping here at Whitey Herzog Field in the Citizens Park. Chris Hugo with no Danny Zorinski today. He, of course, is on assignment. Back at the studio is Avery Barton. Danny will be back with me tomorrow as we had to do coin as the Rams will take on the Indians as we open that new park down there in Dupoy. With the all-turf infield, all-turf mound, obviously all-turf base paths, and the grass outfield. Very nice facility. We'll get to see that one tomorrow. I'm sure we'll snap some pictures and stick them on our Twitter for you. Of course, twitter.com slash 94 sports is where you can find us on there or follow us at 94 sports on Twitter. I actually tweeted the lineups already, but we'll get to know the Central Christian Church batting orders. In just a moment, I tweeted the Rams. Anyway, I told you that Jared Anthes would be on the hill today looking for win number three. The Rams, meanwhile, looking for win number one. Of course, at Whitey Herzog Field, they have a nice concourse behind us, seats 300. We will not come anywhere near capacity at the moment. We can tell you that we're expecting temperature of around 72 degrees here at Belleville, mostly cloudy skies, and winds out of the east at around 7 to 8 miles per hour. So that should be interesting here today. Directionally challenged right now, so it's not going to tell us much as the flag in straightaway center field is not blowing very much at all. So, stagnant wind at the moment. We can tell you the dimensions here of this line. Well, it is 20 down the line, 350 of the gaps, and right around the center field wall, it is 400, and it is kind of where the diamond literally stops. 400 is extreme left and right center field, so the wall just kind of Latin's out. So those are your dimensions here at Whitey Herzog Field. It's also where the Belleville Legion plays baseball during their contest. Of course, the umpires are here. We're about ready to go. We'll probably get started a little early. I don't know if the, uh, the rain is possibly threatening. Most coaches want to get this one in as soon as they can. So we'll see exactly when we get started. Central Christian Church batting orders. First, we'll meet the Mount Vernon Rams. Zach Jones, the shortstop, will lead off. We'll be Landon Thomas, your center fielder, batting second. Zane Zonders, the third base, batting third. Grant Garrett, your catcher, bats in the cleanup spot. While Colin Young, your designated hitter, he bats for the pitcher, Jared Anthes. That's your five hole. Batting sixth at first base is Trevor Flona. Andy Williams gets another start at second, batting seventh. Nate Zaminski back out there in left field, batting eight. The Joshua Gately, who got the start in right field yesterday, batting nine, playing nine. So those are your batting orders presented by Central Christian Church, where, of course, you can discover the excitement online. They have an amazing website, thenewcentral.com, where you can watch their Friday night and Sunday services online. Central Christian Church, loving God and loving people. Chris, you go with you again. Danny Zerwinski on assignment. I had to leave early to get here today. I had to battle some traffic along the way due to some lane closures on the way over. So it left earlier than what we normally would for a game. And I say we, collectively, of course. We need the WMIX organization. Catch us online today with online streaming. If you have some friends around the listening area that want to tune in, iWithersRadio.com is the web address for the WMIX website. Just click on the WMIX tab when you get there, or there's a special image on there that you can find. it will take you right to the stream. And as always, you can find information on MyWeathersRadio.com on our sports tab, where you will find daily updates on the Rams. Not only that, stay up to date on Twitter at 94Sports, and like us on Facebook, Facebook.com, slash WMIX Sports. Not ready to go yet. The umpires and coaches are meeting at home plate. Wind should shift to the east-southeast towards the end of this one. Assuming that we go the distance here this afternoon, Rams offense looking to pick up. Haven't had much since Saturday, or excuse me, I should say Saturday, but it's since Monday at Benson with the short porches everywhere around that field. So the Rams were able to get a few home runs then. Haven't seen much offense since. Kind of wonder if they're going to find those bats here today, although a field that they should be awfully comfortable with, obviously having played here for so many years now. Not only that, a field that represents the dimensions that are eerily similar to that of Brennan Klein Field. The only difference, really, 
to be that it's 15 feet, well, not really that similar at all. Think about it. However, 15 feet closer in the gaps and then 15 feet further, if I'm not mistaken, along the line. Coach Isaacs, Coach Holloway, again with the umpires at home plate. And we're about ready to go discussing the field and discussing what's in play and what isn't, of course. And we're about ready to get underway. We'll meet the outside defense here. On the left field, it's going to be Jerry Novak. Bryce Richter will get to start at center. Elijah Beal is your right fielder. Atlee Champion at third base. Brent Streaker is at short. Alex Sand Heinrich is at second base today with Austin Invenu at first. Mike Pedersen will hand your catching with a familiar face in Rams lore as far as the football field. The basketball surface as well as the baseball field. Sam Lodisky will be your pitcher for the Crusaders. First pitch time will be coming sometime before 430, obviously, as the Crusaders take the field. And we're about ready to get it away as the umpires are ready to go. And we'll see what happens here. We're glad to have you with us here on AM 940 online at MyWithersRadio.com here today. We remind you, Facebook, Facebook.com, slash WMIX Sports, as well as following us on Twitter, Twitter.com, slash 94 Sports. Again, we're at Dupuyne tomorrow, the Rams and the Indians. Free game of about 4.15 or so here on WMIX, online at MyWithersRadio.com. Saturday, we are off. No game against Harrisburg. That is the move to Thursday, May the 3rd. You can, however, listen to the Saturday Sports Show. We get you set in all the goings on in local sports. 808 till 10 o'clock, right here on AM 940 and online at MyWithersRadio.com. With this, he, much to my forgetfulness, is a left-hander, so it will be interesting to see as we have not gotten to see a, a bulk of left-handed pitching this year. Got to see some, but not much. So it'll be interesting to see how this shapes up. I know we saw the reliever at Salem, and I believe one of the pitchers from that too was a left-hander. But this is a left-hander. Four of the Crusaders, and we should get underway somewhere around the 425 mark, at least according to what I have here. Zach Jones, of course, will lead it off. Playing to Thomas and Zane Zonders to follow here on Rams Baseball. And as always, it's presented by Banterra Bank. Lead off the game with the Banterra Bank free checking account. Banterra Bank. Banking with local style. I'll never have the IC. We await the first pitch. As the defense gets set, the umpire takes his position behind home plate. And kill the umpire behind first base. And we are about ready to go here from Belleville. Or are we? I had a bet at 425, and that is when the first pitch will come. On the way out of the windup, and that will be ball one. This low to the left hand of Zach Jones. Did a great job of working the count yesterday against the Montini Broncos. Let's we'll see how he does it today as he takes a... 1-0 pitch across the outside corner, even the count of one ball and one strike. See, we've got some stories to tell you here throughout the day as the one wants to come and ask him. He's smacked towards right center field in the gap. Jones is going to get some extra bases. Z rounds first. It's headed for second. Holloway is going to wave him around to try to get a leadoff triple. Jones may have to get dirty on this one, and he will. Didn't have to as the relay never came. And that will be a leadoff triple for Zach Jones. I believe that is his third triple this year. Don't quote me. That'll bring up Landon Thomas with an RBI chance already here in the first. Glad to have you with us on WMIX. We're about a minute in and already an RBI chance for Landon Thomas. Another lefty-lefty matchup proved beneficial with the first of that, obviously, by Jones sitting on third base. Here comes Ladisky out of the scratch, catches the outside corner. Not much movement on that one. It'll be 0-1 to Thomas. Concerned about the runner Jones on third, but this he'll fire home. Painting the portrait this time as he catches the inside corner. Nothing to two to one of the tops. We'll try to keep you updated on Twitter today. Probably over promoting it thus far, but hey, everybody else, we'd love for you to follow us. Here comes the Oaks well outside, waste pitch that time, one ball, two strikes. Looks more like a slider from Ladisky. I haven't seen anything that would represent a two true curveball yet. On one, two, we might. It'll be outside and this low. Two balls, two strikes. Good eye by Landon Thomas. Even though it up. The run on third. Nobody out top of the first. He's trying to get on the board here first. From out top as we currently have no score. The center field of Richter shitty towards right. In the pole on the left-handed batter. Here comes the pitch. Ground ball towards the third base. Tonight champion who has a chance. Fires first in time. And the Rams can't get the runner across the plate. 5-3 goes Thomas. But that'll bring Zane Saunders. And this will be the first right-handed bat on the Wadiski we'll see. You can really see the sky, the left field and center field, is somewhat dark. Not ominous by any means, because there's some rain over that way. 
no wind yet. Here comes the first pitch of Zonders. Off speed that time. Swung on a miss. An extra curve ball. It's all one. This he looks in. Ready to go. Try to put that runner Jones on third from scoring. And here comes. Zonders will lay off. If I can miss up and away, it'll be one and one. Here and on deck, Young to follow for the Rams to keep this inning going with one out and a runner on third. No score top of the first. Next pitch is on the way from Ladisky. I just fisted fouls right to my side, one and two. Chain link fence, dears. Keeps balls from flying into the cup. Of course, no net, no nothing like that. Just a chain link fence. It's a beautiful landscaping rock on both sides of said fence. We have to get a pick to put on Twitter, but my phone died. Finally got it to the Chargers. So we'll try to get that in a moment. One, two's coming. And that'll be sent foul. Count stays the same. Five pitch at bat thus far. The next one will be number six to Zane Zonders. There's a 1 1 pitch to Jones sent deep into the right center field gap to end up with a leadoff triple. One out now. That will miss outside to Zonders. Two balls, two strikes. Zonders is another one that's done a great job of working the count, working the at bat. And Trying to work to get the pitch he wants to send it somewhere. Now he's going to try to get the RBI as they're going in the runner, Jones. Here comes the pitch. And Zonders sends it to block side of the infield. That would be an RBI single. It's a great job by Zane Zonders to pick up the runner. And it's a one nothing lead here early in the first for the Rams. I had a nice conversation before the game with Mike McClure. Jim Burns got a nice little education before I got started. Always great to talk to those two wise men. As Grant Garrett will step in, runner on first, one out, top of the first. Rams are already on top, one to nothing. As they look for win number nine, they'll check on Saunders over there at the first base back, and he'll get back without a problem. Let's see what else we can come up with to tell you here. Here comes the lefty, and he'll not fire home. He'll check on first. Oh, I have a request. The umpires there are wearing their navy blue tops. We need to make them. We need to find a sponsor for that. Here comes the next pitch on the way. Swung and missed by Garrett. Should be 0 and 1. There they get scored up. They one out. Runner on first. A one nothing Ram lead. RBI single by Zane Saunders. Played it. Zach Jones, who led off the game with a triple. With this, he trying to work out of a jam here. And he'll check on the runner's honors the first. He doesn't look like he's going to get much of a lead with the overly cautious same with this early on. Can't say I blame him, gave him a lead off triple to the left handed bat. But since then, it's been in somewhat of a jam. Oh, one's coming to Garrett. Went high that time. Try to go up the ladder. It's going to be one and one. Hopefully, I answered the queries. Of course, you could tweet us at 94 Sports or post on our Facebook wall, facebook.com slash WMIX Sports, if you have any questions, which is what the umpires are wearing. One one's coming, foul off, it'll be one and two. <laughs> For some reason, that cracks me up. It is the Bob the Hour. Of course, I do realize that. That would have been a perfect time to pause. We'll hold off on that for just a moment. One two is the count. As a home plate umpire, that's off the plate. They're doing a great job today to get us started. One, two is the count on Grant. With one out, the runner on first. He'll check on him. Try to see if he can catch Zane napping with this. He did it. See if we ever get to the one, two pitch. One out, runner on first. Rams on top, one nothing here in the top half of the first inning. Not being the best visitors here. Here comes the one, two. Smart on miss. Took away. We can pause for station identification. This is Rams Radio. You're listening to Rams Baseball on AM 940 WMIX. Mount Vernon, Marion, St. Louis, and online at MyWithersRadio.com. A free service from Withers Broadcasting. In steps Colin Young, DH today. Fifth place hitter here for the Rams, according to the batting order. Donners with a marginal lead off the first. The left handle lift this will fire, and that could be an inside-out swing from opposite field base hit. Great job by Colin Young to advance the runner, get himself aboard here with two outs. That'll be the Rams' third base hit today. A couple of singles and a triple. It's one to nothing. His runners on first and second for Trevor Floda. Sky's getting a little darker here, which means the baby might catch them right. Saw a few drops in the pregame. A few 
huge rounds during setup, and thus far it's been all the precipitation we've seen with two rounds and two aboard here south of the first. Lotus stands in, lines one back up central, and that'll be a base hit. Holloway's going to wave Zonders around. Here he comes. There could be a play at the plate. He'll have to slide. And he is in there safely. And the runners will advance. Great angle by the home plate umpire. He was right on top of it. Saw it. Made the right call. Just got underneath the tag, and it's 2 to nothing Rams. So there you go. RBI for Trevor Fulton. Runners are on second and third as they advance on the throw home. So an RBI chance for Matty Williams. He's had some blue singles throughout the year. Did a nice job defensively. He'll take first pitch inside and look it away, not going anywhere. And so on one of the Williams that caught the corner of the plate. You can also send text message questions if you happen to know my cell phone number. I'm not going to give that away over the Air Force. Or you can email us at forceofbywithersradio.com. Nothing in one to count to Williams. Here it comes. He'll offer the low pitch. Got out the front. It's nothing in two. I like Williams as an 0 2 hitter. We've seen him get some 0 2 base hits already this year. Two outs to a board. The Rams lead 2 to nothing here. Top half of the first inning. It's Lodisky trying to get out of the jam. Fires another one and waste pitch outside to the right handed Williams. 1 2. See if I can get you some Tony Wilkes scoreboard updates today. They can't promise anything. Not sure if rain that is to our east is impacting anything right now or not. Is the 1 2 coming from the 1 2 south off to keep the count the exact same? Ball comes through the rest in front of me. The home plate umpire will retrieve it. We'll get back to play here in just a moment. 1 2 is the count. Two gone. The two aboard here for the Rams in the top half of the first city. They've had a couple of RBI singles, one by Jane Saunders and one by Trevor Floda. A hot start here in the first. The offense trying to come alive. We wait the one two from Lodisky out of the stretch. Williams is waiting on that one, but then it foul over the concourse. It stays one and two. He himself now with a five pitch at that. Would like to work that up here, trying to get the count in his favor. He's behind right now, one and two. Lodisky will fire, stretch time, and it's going to come inside. Evens the count here for Matthew Williams. Two balls, two strikes with Vinitsky on deck. As we have reached the seventh spot in the order here in the top half of the first inning. Of course, the aggressiveness of Tim Holloway on the base pass has helped the Rams here in the first as Williams will hold back, does he? He checks. Will appeal. That's a full count. Great communication here by the umpires. People, at least so fans can hear as well. Very fan friendly here. Everybody hears on Fields and his part. Full count here for Williams. But this he will look in, he'll fire. Swung on a miss. So a strikeout will win the inning, and that's strikeout number two for Ladisky. But the damage done, the Rams on top, two to nothing. This is now for the baseball on WMIX. If you want a successful business, you need good partners. And if your need is printing, you won't find better partners than Mark and Carrie Smith. Helping people is what we love. But we need help with our financing. That's why the Smiths and hundreds of local businesses trust Banterra. Banterra is the area's number one financial partner, offering commercial loans, treasury management, and remote deposit services. With Banterra as your partner, you can concentrate on what you do best. Banterra, banking with local style. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. Here's Jeff Schmidt for Schmidt Chevrolet of Mount Vernon. The Equinox continues to really be a strong seller for us with 32 miles per gallon in a crossover. Easy to get in and out of the vehicle. The visibility is excellent, so people really, really like the Equinox. We have a great selection of the Equinox, and we have more coming in every day. So come on in and take one for a test drive. It's really a neat vehicle. Schmidt Chevrolet of Mount Vernon, 3423 Broadway in Mount Vernon. Back to Rams baseball, powered by Banterra Bank. And we welcome you back to Waddy Herzog Field as Jared Antis will get a few warm-up tosses before we start the bottom half of the first inning. Where the Rams lead the Crusaders by a score of 2 to nothing. Bryce Richter leads off out in center field. Grant Streak of the shortstop bat second. Catcher Mike Patterson will bat third with the pitcher Sam Odeski in the cleanup spot. Austin Benvenu, the first baseman, bats fifth. Out in right field, it's Elijah Beal batting sixth. Batting seventh is the left fielder, Trey Novak. Alex and Heinrich just batting eighth at second base. I have the batting over here for outside. It's having a champion in the third base. Defensively for the Rams, we can tell them. Here 
in just a moment. As we await the first pitch from Shaver, Jared Antis, runs on top two to nothing. First pitch will come to the right-handed batter right down the middle, and that'll be tipped foul to be 0 and 1. So Richter falls behind the count early defensively for the Rams. Hey, Panetsky's back out and left today. Landon Thomas in center, Josh Gately out the right. Nate Zonders at the third. Jones, your shortstop, Williamson, Floater on the right side of the infield. Here at behind the play, catching Jared Anthes. The old one's on its way. That's a comebacker right to the bird. But don't give it a swinging effort, but that was a line drive right up the middle for the leadoff base hit for the Crusaders. So now they are trying to get back into this one, down 2 nothing. Trying to tweet you an update real quick. At 94 Sports. You might like it, you, know, you might not. Antis looks over his shoulder at the runner as Streaker stands in. First pitch is going to be lined right back up the middle, so identical locations on two identical pitches end up an identical result. And that'll be a single. First and second here for Mike Patterson to catch with nobody out in the bottom half of the first. Man, a hit parade today. We'll see what happens. Both teams trying to get some, find some offense after struggling over the past couple of games with the bat. I'm speaking to go here in this tweet, so hopefully folks can understand it. Yeah, maybe. We'll find out. Runners on first and second. Nobody out here from Mike Patterson, the catcher. Anthony's a look in, relegated to the stretch after the leadoff base hit. Showing fun as Pedersen. It's in the dirt. Goes low on the fun. It's going to be one of them. No, offered. I wouldn't want I stand corrected. My apologies. Not trying to show up the umpire. You hear Chance the Bird in the background. And, of course, his terrorist nickname, Jay Bird, they often call him. Looking into his catcher, Garrett, for a sign. Tom called by the catcher, Pedersen. We try to call the game at the same time. I can do it when I have somebody with me. I don't mean that good at it when I'm by myself. So Anthony gets set, looks back towards second base, towards the lead runner. All wants coming. Beautiful pitch across the plate. Went off speed on the changeup. Pedersen was full and it crossed right down central. That's nothing to do to the outtop catcher. On deck the pitcher, Ladisky. With two on and nobody out here at the bottom of the purse. The Rams on top, two to nothing. If you're looking for a kick to Chris Bank, the Heartland player of the game, we'll say more about Tom first throughout the broadcast. Antis looks back towards second. He'll fire on the 0-2, swung on a miss. Antis recovers with a strikeout there on three pitches. That's his first today. Of course, familiar faces, new places. Bank with Ray and Bria, Community First Bank's new 42nd Street location in Mount Vernon. And welcome back to Personal Banking. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. This skill staying in, one out to a board here for the Crusaders in the home half of the first. Still a 2 nothing Ram lead. And Anthony's is going to try to preserve. Out of the stretch. First battle against a lefty bat. That's going to be sent foul third base side. Saunders will give chase. Look at how to play. Into the net, he'll make a barehanded grab off the net if only it counted. That must be a hard hit strike for Sam this. Here's the sound of a lawnmower off over the right field fence. The yard that's behind Citizens Park. Nothing in one is the count for this. You want out. Glad to have you with us. Bottom of the first. Rams on top of Alice off to nothing. Here comes the pitch on the way. That is going to be rigged. Just foul down the right field line. Nothing in two. So a couple of hard hit bats. <laughs> hard hit balls from the disky. Turned into strikes. Nothing in two. The count with one gone. Runners are on first and second. Two nothing is the Ram lead here. After a couple of hits, it looks like Anthony's settled down somewhat. He goes back to back singles right up the middle on the drives. He's able to come after the batter pass and strike him out. Has an 0 2 count on his counterpart to pitcher Stan with this. And then wants to play that back foot really dug in. Towards the back of the batter's box. Anthony looks back towards second base. Not going to try to feint pickoff there. He'll waste one outside. Wise choice. It's one or two. All 
Oh, I thought I had an update for you. Unfortunately not. 2 nothing is your score here. The Rams on top of out top. We're in the bottom of the first. Crusaders trying to threat. RBI chance for the runner on second. Also one on first. Antis will come outside again to the left-handed batter. 2-2. Two and two. So Here we go. There's no score in Bender right now. As the Rangers taking on Vernon Hill to the Evaldi Field. They'll check on the runner at second. Close, but just getting back with a head first dive was Bryce Richter. That's cool, but I'll take some by Tony Wilt, State Farm Insurance. Follow your insurance financial service needs. See Tony on the web at TonyWilt.com or visit him in Mount Vernon. On the corner of 42nd South Water Tower, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. We meet the two to the list. And it looks back to second. The outfire is on by the stretch. That's to be fouled off over the dugout, over the net, or it remains two and two. Here's the encouragement behind me. Colin Young will be the one that has to go get that one as a DH. And it'll help keep them loose. 2 2 is the count here. Runners on first and second. Still a 2 0 score with only one out at the bottom of the first. Panthers trying to get out of this one. Fires home out of the stretch. Foul tip stays the same. Six pitches already in the advantage. Lodisky's done a nice job of working it back even. Oh, he's fouled off the past couple. So he fouled two off, took two for balls, and fouled two more. Certainly hope the next two aren't going to follow some sort of repetitive motion. Here it's set just outside. Here it comes. That's fouled a long way left field side out of play. That's again a two pitches bat that results in a single, then a first pitch single to Grant Streaker, and then a three pitch strike up to Pedersen. This is a bat flash quite a while. This will be pitch number eight. No balls yet except for the two here to Ladisky. The rest have been strikes. And this will be a ground ball to first. Picking it up, Sploda. He'll step on the bag himself and keep the runner at third with his eyes. That'll be three unassisted. Two away now for Austin Benvenu with runners on second and third. So we can tie it with a swing of the bat. Looks like he's a... Well, no, he'll be a right-handed hitter. Waiting for the umpire to clear the plate. Looks like a right-handed masher. That's fifth in the order behind, obviously, the cleanup spot, Sam Lodisky. He'll step in now. Looking to tie this ball game in the bottom half of the first inning. Rams are up two to nothing. There's an eight-pitch at bat to Ladisky. It finally results in a ground out to third base. Back out of the windup will be Anthony. He'll fire off speed that time. Just missed outside. It'll be one and zero. Guys, it's dark and somewhat. Very, very overcast day. Very drab looking here at Belleville. A little bit of rain passed through earlier. Field looks good though, and the one knows coming. Ooh, nice pitch up. Up of the zone, the still strike, and it's going to be one ball, one strike to Austin Benvenu. First baseman here for the Crusaders, who are coached by Brett Isaacs. He's down the third base coaching box. This is by Matt Lauber, who is down there in the first base box. Where's the 1-1? One, one? That'll be a strike. Pace the black on the plate there on the outside corner. Behind 1-2 and two now is Austin Benvenu with Bryce Richter on third. Grant Streaker is on second. Rams are at DuCoin tomorrow to take on a great 2A team. Rams were able to beat DuCoin last year at home at Brennan Klein Field. We wait the 1-2. Oh, nice pitch on the outside, and that'll be a second strikeout for Anthes, and the Rams get out of the inning unscathed. We're at the bottom. Excuse me, we are through one. 2 nothing Rams. This is now for the baseball on WMIX. If your definition of local is Southern Illinois and adjacent states, pay no attention to this message. Hi, I'm Joe David Cummins, President of Community First Bank. Others advertise the message of being a local community bank. However, Community First Bank is the only local community bank exclusively serving Jefferson County with five locations and five ATMs. In short, loans and deposits stay local and benefit you. Community First Bank with locations in Mount Vernon, Woodlawn, Dix, and Ina. Welcome back to Personal Banking. 
Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. How do you spend your Saturday mornings? Wake up, grab coffee, get something to eat? Why not add a little WMIX Saturday Sports Show to your Saturday? From 8.08 until 10 o'clock, we have guests, discussion, and fun involving the regional sports topics that matter to you. It's the pick-me-up you need to start your morning off right. It's the Saturday Sports Show every single week on WMIX AM 940 and online at MyWithersRadio.com. Presented by Crossroads Community Hospital. For more insight, follow us on Twitter at 94 Sports. Back to the Rams on WMIX. And we welcome you back to Whitey Herzog Field. 8-9-1 and one coming up for the Rams in the top of the second inning. It'll be Hayden Paneski, Josh Gately, and Zach Jones to get us started. Rams lead this one 2 to nothing. Paneski threw 29 pitches unofficially in the top of the first inning. So his pitch count already high. Not sure how many times he's pitched that this year. Didn't have a lot of time to talk to Coach Isaacs before the game. We'll see. This can get set out of the windup, comes inside on the right hand for this. You had a good day yesterday. It's one of those. Made his first appearance of the season. Had a two RBI base hit and then ended up being the difference of the ballgame. One of those coming. Takes it low and just missed. It's not going to see much low today. Of course, that was below his knees. Two balls, no strikes with Gately on deck. Next one coming inside, catches the corner. Two balls and a strike. Great pitch by Ladisky. Pitch number 32. We just some updates here. Working on it. Next one, the foul tip. There it is. Front on my left foot. Two and two. Of course, the 94 News at 5 will be on the FM only today. Brought to you by People's National Bank. Check swing. Aim below. It's three and one. Kaminsky, a good eye to hold up. Again, it's brought to you by Fort Square, King City Chrysler, People's National Bank, and the number of Church of Christ, FM only today, 94.1. Next one is going to be low. We got walkish to Aiden Paninsky. Worked the full count, and now ends up on first base for Josh Gately, who comes up. As the Rams are trying to hatch it, but here in the second. Let's see. This key back out of the stretch should have fared quite as well back in the first as Gately will foul one off. Goes over my right as I'm right behind the whole plate. Nothing at one. Second chance auto helps spring you out for the Rams baseball here on WMIX, the home of the largest selection of pre owned vehicles, priced at 10 grand in one location. Also, bank rate financing for everybody. They'll check on the runner for this key back safely. Second chance auto, of course, on Route 142 East here in Mount Vernon. I hear, I mean there. We're in Belleville today, Citizen Park. Here comes the next one. Wow. Nice pitch by Lodisky. Cluttered in there for strike two, and it's nothing to two. Gately, Lodisky on first, nobody out, top second, Rams on top, two and nothing. Train behind us, and this one will miss. Possible pitch out, one and two. 29 pitches in that long first inning for Sam Lodisky. Don't have a lot of people here. Left side of the concourse pretty well, completely empty as it's divided into four sections. A few people in section three, but not many. A lot of people behind me. One, two's coming. That'll miss high and outside. Two balls, two strikes. Two-two's coming. That's going to be sent towards right center field. That'll fall for a base hit. So a productive part of the order has been this bottom of it the last two days with Benesky and Gately. So it'll be first and second after the single by Josh, and that'll bring up Zach Jones, who, needless to say, tripled to start the game back in the first. Later came around to score on the RBI single by Zonders, who came around to score on the RBI single by Floda. Jones looking to go two for two today with runners on first and second. Nobody out here in the second. With another threat of Landon Thomas on deck. And Lodisky will step off. Probably should have side just then, but that happened. Strike on the inside corner on the first pitch to Jones. We remind you that. Uh, the first, still no 
overall score between the Benton Rangers and Vernon Hills. Baseball action. Hey, Lady Rams are across town at Altoff High School. And they're on South 7 matchup. 0-1 coming, swung on the best. Nothing and two to Zach Jones. Jones, you're going to say this multiple times now this year. You're all time saved leader. I'm not very nice. We'll feel a little bit of rain on me now. Ball sun peaked out a moment ago as we wait the 0-2. Playing games at second base, trying to distract Lodisky. We'll go outside and get on Zach. He'll swing and miss. That'll be the third strike out today for Lodisky. So leaves two on with one out now for Landon Thomas. The runners are on first and second here in the top half of the second inning. The Rams are on top two to nothing. Another lefty lefty matchup. Thomas grounded out to third. His last time up. We'll check on the runner. And that'll get away. Podinski is going to take third. At safe. At second is Gately. And that's where he'll throw. Crowd got into that one yelling for the center fielder Richter for the second base. He was eyeing third. Now this is a major RBI chance. And that was just a bad throw. Errors on the pitcher. Two on and only one out. Second and third situation here for the Rams. Thomas will stand back in against the lefty of the Disky. Out of the stretch here it comes. Check swing, but it hits the outside corner. Nothing here. One here to LT. Rams baseball presented by Van Sierra Bank, whose online banking is convenient, efficient, and best of all safe. Their security is your best defense. Van Sierra Bank, thank you, the global style. Remember, FDIC, nothing to one on the way, and that's going to be a ground ball to second. Coming home to score will be Fidensky. Now we're going to talk about that. Place the third runner of the game. The Rams are on top. Three to nothing. Game is at third base. So it'll be a runner on third now with two away. There's Lane Zonders. RBI singles first to bat. Later came around to score. First pitch on the way. He'll lay off. Did it sneak in there? And it did. Strike one. Across the inner portion of the flight. Looks like a pretty good pitch from Sam this I like this home plate umpire. He is all over. Now, Zonders will chase after a low pitch, showing two. Would like to get that extra run across the plate. We'll count it by now. The runner on third with two gone here, top second. On the way to Zonders, he'll send that foul. Didn't follow through on the swing as that just clears the light standard. That stays on two. Can't imagine we're going to see Ladisky too deep into this one. He's thrown quite a few pitches already. Got to be getting near the 50 pitch mark here in the second inning. 1 1 done. 1 1. That 2. I apologize. 1 2 now. Because it misses outside. That's not the scoreboard. Here it comes. 1 2. And that'll just be a piece of it. At the second base, with a short side streaker will make the grab. So, Saunders pops out to short. And that'll end the threat here in the second. We're through one and a half. Three nothing Rams. This is now for the baseball on WMIX. Are you tired of being charged unnecessary fees by other banks in our area? Hi, this is Melody True at People's National Bank. With our customer-friendly products such as free checking, Saluki checking, Visa check cards, online banking, bill pay, and much more, People's National Bank is proud to offer our customers the products they deserve. Stop by one of our People's National Bank locations or visit us online at peoplesnationalbank.com and see what banking with a family-owned community bank is all about. People's National Bank. Member FDIC. Non-usage fees may apply. It happens every spring. You need a great quality vehicle. That's where Second Chance Auto comes in. Family owned for the past 32 years. Second Chance Auto has been the cure for spring new car fever. No one has a better selection of vehicles priced under $10,000. Almost all their vehicles come with a generous three-month, 3,000-mile warranty. There are no dock fees, no shipping fees, and no processing fees like those new car dealerships. Just low prices. Second Chance Auto. Route 142, Eastern Mount Vernon. Call 244-4582. Second Chance Auto. This is your home for Rams Radio, WMIX. And we welcome you back. Bottom half of the second inning. It will be 6, 7, and 8 coming up for Alps off field. Go back to Hydrich. 
as your Crusaders trail on this one three to nothing to the Rams. Don't forget, you can follow us on Twitter at 94 Sports, or you can like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash WMIX Sports. So it'll be the lefty Beal to get us started. And just threw 18 pitches in the bottom half of the first inning. Got out of a mini jam. He allowed the first two to get aboard, but then had a strikeout, a ground out to first, and a strikeout. To get out of the inning. 3 nothing. your score. Rams on top. First pitch of this inning will be swung on a miss for a strike. Nothing to want. Felt a raindrop just then. And nothing to want to count to the left handed bat. Here comes the next one to feel. Chases it to the inside. Great scoop by Floating. He'll take it himself. Three unassisted. On to scoop that one off a wild hop. Hit the lip of the grass. Was able to get it the mitt. Held it up to show Anthony he was going to take it. Good communication there with the unofficial baseball sign league, which is T Flow steps in the bag, and we have one away, Jerry Novak. So left fielder will stand in. Lots of communication from behind the plate over the first base dugout. Not sure what it was regarding, and now Anthony gets set. He'll fire out of the wide up inside. Going to try to jam the batter, but just misses one to know. His counterpart, Ladisky, up to the 50 pitch count, having thrown 21 pitches there in his half the second. Now, Bird gets it to a high pop fly in the infield. Williams gets underneath on the right side. He'll take care of it. Well, always reliable with the leather is Matthew Williams. He'll make the grab two away with somebody on. 3 nothing ball game. The Rams are on top here at the bottom of the second. Try to get quick work. We know that the Rams' philosophy is try to get in and out in 90 minutes. Right now we are about a half hour into this one. Just shy of the top of the 5 o'clock hour here in the bottom half of the second inning. First pitch will come to the right hander St. Heidrich. That'll be a ground ball foul on the third base side. Should be nothing at one. Home plate umpire is all over it. He is doing a heck of a job here today. I have a very expansive concession stand. All kinds of goodies, even sunflower seeds. Oh, one's on the way, and that's going to be fouled off. It'll clear the first base dugout, I believe, and it'll be 0 2. So after an 18-pitch first inning, Anthony is trying to get to this one with only 6-7. The count is 0-2 on the batter. Alex and Heinrich got some time for Greg Leave on the basketball team. If I remember correctly. If not, it was football. It's one or the other. These names all tend to blur together after a while. Nothing to two coming. That'll be in the turf. Tried to paint that side corner and just missed. Bottom fell out of it, literally. And now it's one ball, two strikes. Champion, of course, on deck. He rounded out the batting order for the Crusaders. See what happens on one, two, with two gone bases empty. Top, foul, hit the top, very top of the same thing, back up. And it'll keep the count one ball and two strikes. For all your insurance, financial service needs, call Tony Will, teacher, state farm agent at Mount Vernon. Find them online at TonyWill.com or at the corner of 42nd South Water Tower. Like a good neighbor, state farm is there and won't miss. No one away again. Two and two. So it counts even here. Alex and Heidrich. Second baseman here for the Crusaders. Two, two count, two out, swung on a miss. Jay Bird will get strikeout number three to end the second. One, two, three, go the Crusaders here in the bottom of the second inning. Still three, nothing, Mount Vernon. This is Vance Baseball on WMIX. If I could see into the future, you know what I'd want to know? I'd want to know how the whole thing is going to turn out. Did I make the right decisions for my business? helping my daughter memorize all 50 states in alphabetical order. Did it really matter? Understanding that the future is about planning, not worrying, is why Erie Insurance is above all in service. Auto, home, business, and life. Your Erie agent is waiting for you. Your Erie agent in Mount Vernon is the Bean Insurance Agency. Get a quote at 242-6017. If you want a successful business, you need good partners. And if your need is printing, you won't find better partners than Mark and Carrie Smith. Helping people is what we love. But we need help with our financing. 
That's why the Smiths and hundreds of local businesses trust Banterra. Banterra is the area's number one financial partner, offering commercial loans, treasury management, and remote deposit services. With Banterra as your partner, you can concentrate on what you do best. Banterra, banking with local style. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. For more content, like WMIX Sports on Facebook. Back to the Rams on WMIX. And we welcome you back here to Waddy Herzog Field. Chris, you go with you. Danny Zerwinski is on assignment on WMIX. It's Garrett Young and the floater get a start at top of the third. Rams on top three to nothing as Garrett takes on the inside corner, nothing and one. That was the 51st pitch for Sam Lodisky, and now he'll send one low and away to the right-handed bat. One ball, one strike. If you're looking for the 94 News at 5, you'll flip over to 94.1 FM, where the news today presented by People's National Bank, Ford Square, and the Mount Vernon Church of Christ. And here it'll take the 1-1 one, one outside, two balls and a strike. He's been very, very fortunate thus far to escape some of the precipitation in the area. Moving around, 2-1, this is inside low, three balls and a strike. Good eye by Grant. You can hear him chatter from the dugout. Sometimes in Spanish, sometimes in English, sometimes in gibberish. But a nice cheerleader for the Rams when he's not up at the plate. He'll take ball four inside low again, identical to ball three. That'll put a runner aboard. So the Rams have gotten a leadoff runner aboard here in all three innings. This courtesy runner will be Tyler Ellis. Ellis, of course, picked up the win yesterday against Montini. Complete game effort. He's 2-0 on the year. I believe had seven strikeouts in yesterday's effort. So Young will step in with a runner on first and nobody out here in the top of the third. Rams already on top three to nothing. I'd like to add some more here in the third as Lodisky will fire. Young will get a piece and send a foul with the first base dugout to fall behind nothing and one. It's about 73 here in Belleville. Winds are out of the east at around seven miles per hour, though you can't really tell, not strong enough to move the flag. I like what the home plate umpire does to signify when he's ready. He keeps waving his hand until the batter's good. And oh one's coming. Ground ball the third. Will it be two? Champion fires the second for one. The first for the other. It'll be a five four three double play. Even with the speed of young with a cannon like that at champion. They're going to turn that more often than not and still away here for the Rams at the top of the third. Trevor Floater will come up. Base is empty. Two gone. And an RBI single back of the first. But to get an RBI now, lately obvious, he's going to have to hit a home run. And with this game, after throwing so many pitches in the first and second inning, not having to throw many here, but Floater will foul one off first base side. And it's nothing in one. Eight pitches thus far. Or Sam Lodisky. can go back to the windup now with nobody on base. Nothing there. One to float over two gone. Here it comes. This is outside. One and one. Whether retirement is years or months away, open a retirement account to fit your lifestyle perfectly. Answer a bank. Thank you with local style. Member FDIC. It'll be fouled off behind us. And it's one and two to float up. Again, 94 News at 5 on 94.1 FM today only. People's National Bank, Fort Square, and the King Mount Vernon Church of Christ bring that to you. And that'll hit float up. So float up plunked on the one and two. He'll take his pace and we'll pause for station identification. This is Rams Radio. You're listening to Rams Baseball on AM 940 WMIX. Mount Vernon, Carbondale, Cape Girardeau, and online at MyWithersRadio.com. A free service from Withers Broadcasting. Back here to Wadi Hurst on field. Blown a plunk by a pitch on the feet. Didn't see if that caught the left or the right. Looked like it might have caught the lead foot, but looked like he was favoring the right. So runner on at two outs now as... Williams will step in a one. The pops it up. Foul territory. Here comes the first baseman. And Benvenu will make the grab. So the Rams show some signs of getting some runners aboard here in the third. It ends up not getting any across the plate as they do strand a runner. We'll head to the bottom of the third. Still 3 nothing Rams. This is now for the baseball on WMIX. If your definition of local is Southern Illinois and adjacent states, pay no attention to this message. Hi, I'm Joe David Cummins, President of Community First Bank. 
Others advertise the message of being a local community bank. However, Community First Bank is the only local community bank exclusively serving Jefferson County with five locations and five ATMs. In short, loans and deposits stay local and benefit you. Community First Bank with locations in Mount Vernon, Woodlawn, Dix, and Ina. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. The Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois proudly welcomes Dr. Brian Steinkey to their medical staff. Dr. Steinkey is an orthopedic surgeon specializing in spine surgery, treatment of the injured back, and will provide the newest state-of-the-art procedures in the region. Dr. Steinkey is fellowship trained in spine and brings prestigious credentials to the center. Dr. Steinkey is a gifted physician and contributor to orthopedic textbooks and will see patients starting in April. Call 618-242-3778 or visit their informative website at orthocenter-si.com. Back to Rams baseball, powered by Banterra Bank. And we welcome you back to Whitey Herzog Field. The Rams on top of the Crusaders, three to nothing here in Belleville. Opening of the South Seven Conference season, of course. The Rams looking to see if they can win another South Seven Conference championship. Mantis is on the hill, having put only twenty nine pitches through two innings. He'll meet nine one and two as a family champion. We'll get us started with Richter and Streaker to follow. First pitch is a strike on the outside corner. It's nothing and one. Champion has quite the cannon as he was able to throw a laser down to second and they turned over to first for a couple play back an inning to go. And he will get a piece of this one as well, but it is slice he foul down the left field line, and that'll be a long, scary foul ball, 0 and 2. Wow. So got a piece of that one, ties it almost perfectly, but it's slice foul. Nothing to two is the count with nobody on and nobody out as champion gets it started. It's the right-hander, Jared Antis. Jay Bird fires. Here it comes. Check swing as it escapes to the outside. One and two. Crusaders are stranded a couple here today. That was back in the first inning as they went off with a pair of hits. Antis was able to work out of the jam after probably down. So one, two is the count here on champion. Here comes the next one. It's blowing away. Two and two. And this will look into Grant Garrett to the side. Center field is straight away. And that's going to catch the outside corner. That's strikeout number four. First of the backwards variety, Francis. That brings us to the top of the order, Bryce Richter. Other, I already told you that. Don't strike out. Take control of your health care expenses with a tax advantage self savings account. Answer a bank. Thank you. Full style, the rep, I see. They are the official voice of the mouth for the Rams as we await the first pitch to Richter. He'll take a breaking pitch. Looks more like a circle change. <laughs> Oddly enough, on the outside corner, nothing to one. Bird will look in. See what happens here with Garrett as he sets up outside, chasing his Richter, falls behind now 0 and 2. Usually, if you get a base hit off the Anthos, you don't have much success the rest of the way through. Well, after hoping he settled here, Let's see what happens on the 0-2 to Richter. That's in the dirt. Trying to go breaking that time. Uncle Chuck's visit paid it was in the dirt. One ball and two strikes for Bryce Richter. Right-handed bat. In an 0-1 pitch right up the middle last time up for a single. Takes one in the dirt this time. He was to count up at 2-2. Two and two. Here comes from Anthony. Ooh. Just missed on the sinker that time. It'll be a full count. Three balls, two strikes, two. Bryce with dirt. No relation to Mike. In a South 7 game today, Carbell Centralia is not at a two. There's a little of a chopped ground ball, third base side, foul. So Centralia and Carbell are tied at the bottom half of the third inning. That's full board update. It's presented by Tony Wilton, State Farm Insurance. For all your insurance financial service needs, see Tony Wilt. On the corner of 42nd South Water Tower, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. That, of course, is King City address. We always tell you the worldwide address. We'll run it down again, though. TonyWilt.com. Full count here to Richter. With one out, base is empty, and he'll chase after that one. Tomahawk's foul, first base side. It scoots out of play. No chance for anything there, but a great effort by Garrett and Floda to chase after I 
trying to get out of this at bat. Nobody on here for Richter. Vance has struck out champion Wookie just a moment ago. Full count offerings on its way. Swung and a miss. Went fastball that time, and that is strikeout number five for Jared. It is three to nothing. Rams on top of the Crusaders. Here in the bottom of the third inning. Nobody on and two outs now for Streakers. He'll take a ball in the dirt, 1-0. Oh. We went to 1-0. Oh. Here it is. Right down the heart of the plate, 1-1. One and one. It's pitching pretty well here. It's allowing a couple of hits to lead off the bottom half of the first inning. He has rebounded nicely. Let's see what happens here on 1-1 one, one out of the windup. It comes from the right hand. It went high that time. It might have paid the price. And that is to left center field for a base hit. It's cut off by Thomas. And his can will keep it to a single, but it is of the two-out variety for Grant Streaker. And it brings up Matt Pedersen. Mike Pedersen, rather. Who struck out back of the first. for the shortstop who a little bit of a lead off the first base. First pitch of this is bad. It's fouled off. Hit and run was in play. And it's 0-1. Here Looks like the hit and run was in play because he started to take a couple of extra steps towards second base on the lead. Then took a couple of steps back and was a bit really focused on the batter instead of the pitcher. This time he just looks like he wants to take second. Nothing here one to count with two outs here on Pedersen. Runners going again, and this time it was a hit and run again, and that's going to be a fair ball down the left field line. Some trouble with it. Fedinsky, he'll fire it in. The relay will be from Saunders. Play at the plate, not in time. Had it been cut off a second sooner, it might have been a play at the plate, but it'll be an RBI double for Pedersen. He did not hesitate with two outs around the back. So the two out base hit for Streaker pays off as he's brought home by Pedersen. That one just went down the line. It was very close. Umpire was on top but had the right call, had a good call. And now Sock gets on the board. It's three to one here at the bottom of the third inning with a runner on second. So still threatening with the lefty Lebiski coming up. He grounded to first for the second out of the first inning. Now ends it out of the stretch again. Looks back towards second base. He'll tire. This will be ripped to second. Great play. Williams got in front of it, made the stop, throw to first in time. 4-3 will retire the side, but Altoff pushes one across the dish. It's now 3-1 to one Mount Vernon. This is Rams Baseball on WMIX. Learn to live healthy, learn to live well, and learn how you can live free from unexpected medical expense with a major medical expense policy from Pekin Insurance and the Page Agency. Health insurance that covers hospital, medical, and surgical expenses offers a wide choice of deductibles and a non-tobacco user discount, too. Rising medical costs don't have to be a problem with a major medical expense policy from Pekin Insurance. This is coverage we hope you'll never need, but you just can't be without. Call the Page Agency at 242-7000 about a major medical health insurance plan today. If you want to successful business you need good partners and if your need is printing you won't find better partners than mark and carrie smith helping people is what we love but we need help with our financing that's why the smiths and hundreds of local businesses trust banterra banterra is the area's number one financial partner offering commercial loans treasury management and remote deposit services with banterra as your partner you can concentrate on what you do best banterra banking with local style Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. This is Mike Race. You're listening to the Rams on WMIX. And we welcome you back to Waddy Herzog Field, presented by Bantura Bank. Don't support the other team. Go green with Bantura's online bill pay and online statements. Bantura Bank, thank you with local style. Member FDIC. Three to one, Rams on top. All top, finally got a run across the plate. They're half of the third. Now the top of the fourth. It'll be Panesky, Gately, and Jones. See 
see what happens to that. Spinitsky will show Bond with the corner infielders playing back. Won't get it down. It'll be strike one. Nothing in one here to Spinitsky to get it started. developing on Twitter as far as college basketball is concerned. Next one, Mrs. Hines with Polish Power, one and one. Missed inside again this time for this. Two balls and a strike with Gately on deck. These two have been a nice 8-9 punch here since they've got some time over the past couple of games. Two ones coming, fouled off over us. It's two and two. About Second Chance Auto, home of your largest selection of real vehicles, priced to ten grand in one location. And bakery financing for everybody. What's not to love about Second Chance? Proud Ram supporters on Route 142 East in Alberta. 2 2 coming. Oh, looks like a mess. Well, inside, and this grab the plate will take it for strike three. So that'll be a called third strike, and it will be strikeout number four on the day. For Sam Modesky, who came into the inning with 62 pitches thrown. So that'll bring up Gately, base is empty one away. Here at the top half of the board. So I'm going to you start off for us as we got a nice she is. As I say, that game leaves us another in the right center field. All right, then. So that'll be a nice first pitch base hit for Josh. And it puts a runner aboard for Zach Jones. He tripled and scored back in the first. Got a little over aggressive back in the second and struck out. Software and gold today with navy blue numerics. Gold has for the navy bills in the first pitch is on. Jones hit the outside for, for strike one. So one one here to the lefty. Zach definitely can rake the ball. Hit it into the gap right center field gap. We'll check on Daly at first. Back with the head first dive. Zach ripped one to right center. Went into the gap and was able to take third base. Aggressive base running to paid off. First one of the game it was. This time he'll just get a tip of it. They're going to try to turn two. Safe at first will be Zach as they went 4-6 on the field of choice. It's a two away for Landon Thomas here at the top half of the fourth. LT had a nice home run over the right field fence. Benton in the Rams 10-7 win over the Rangers on Monday afternoon. And the left-hander will stand in. The umpire's giving them time. And now we're ready to go, but they'll check on the runner at first. <laughs> this game nears being an hour old. So much for the 90 minutes. Runner going. Ledisky looks in. Hit run in play. And that'll be towards the left field for a base hit. The third goes... Zach Jones, he'll slide. That'll be a nice two-out piece of hitting work. Thomas only saw the one pitch. Then it's a left field with the opposite way for the base hit. Now it's runners at the corner for Zonders. Zonders popped up to end the second. And had the RBI single to score Zach Jones back in the first. And that was with one out. He does this time with two runners at force. He will get a piece of one, lifts it towards left. Novak's going to give it a chase. Caught it and died. Wow, that ball just died in the air as it hit the other level eastern winds. And that'll be the third out of the inning. They hit it deep enough to make it interesting, and we are through three and a half, three to one Rams. This is now for the baseball on WMIX. Hi, Roy Schmidt, Dodge dealer at King City Chrysler, Mount Vernon. When it comes to sporty sedans, the 2012 Dodge Avenger is at the top of the list. Best in class V6 power with 283 horsepower. Best in class V6 fuel economy at 32 miles per gallon estimated. 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine, one of Ward's 10 best engines for 2012. Premium interior with soft touch surfaces. 2011 Insurance Institute for Highway Safety Pick and new race-inspired Avenger RT model. And the best part are the incentives we have now on the 2012 Avengers. Receive up to $3,000 cash back or 0% for 72 months. We may be able to even lower your existing payment you have now. Come into King City Chrysler today and see one of our sales professionals 
and test drive the 2012 Dodge Avenger at 1603 Broadway in Mount Vernon, Illinois. Let's go back to the field, powered by Banterra Bank. And we welcome you back to Whitey Herzog Field as we head to this bottom of the fourth inning. Rams are on top, 3-1. to one. Anthos will come out for another inning worth of work, and he will face Invenu, Beal, and Novak, 5-6-7 and seven here in the fourth inning. And now the first pitch will be sent towards left. Should be a problem for Berninski along the line there in left. He'll make the grab, so one pitch, one out. What was the 44th pitch for Anthos? Rams are starting off hot somewhat offensively. Haven't really done much since. Only a couple of base hits. Stranding a couple since. Rams have actually stranded six runners today. Though they're up three to one, a Beal will step in, grab that at first his first time up. On what was a great play by Trevor Plota. Took a wild hop off the lip of the grass. He was able to come up with it. Held the ball up high to show Anthony he was going to cover and made the play. Nothing in one coming. Swarm on a miss. Sinker. 0-2. One out. Nobody aboard here in the home half of the fourth. Rams up two here against the Crusaders. This one's never a blowout. By either side, this one's always close. Next one's going to be a ground ball right side. Williams not a problem. Scoops it in two hands. Makes the throw to first. It's time. 4-3. It's a great job defensively. Same time that Zach Jones comes in to close it out of the ball game. Usually Matty will slide over the shortstop and not miss a beat. Two outs here for Novak. He popped out. Guess who? The Matt Williams back in the second for the second out. That's thus far, I believe, the only one, two, three, eight for outside. Let's see what happens here. First pitch to the at bat. Ooh, just misses up. I'd want to know. All right, Debbie Woods here in the fourth. WMIX online at MyWithersRadio.com. Danny Zerwinski not making the trip today on the sign, but back home. That's the next one. Misses inside the low. 2-0. Oh. We'll be together at Duke Corn tomorrow, though, as the Rams will take on the Indians on the road. Second road game to finish out the week. Kobler down the third baseline foul. It's 2-1. Twenty-nine and twenty-one pitches in the first and second innings, respectively. But this has only thrown twelve and eleven since in the third and fourth, respectively. Anthos came into the inning only having thrown forty-three pitches, and now throws a high fastball on two and one. It's two and two, swung and missed by Novak. Right now, he's only fifty-one pitches in here in the fourth, trying to get out of it with fifty-two. Will he do it? Be a ground ball, but. Hit the batter as it after it hit the bat, so foul ball that stays two and two. The three one score, South Southern Conference showdown here on the baseball field. Right hander Ant is trying to get another strikeout. Here comes two two. It's fouled off with the first base dugout. Kept it's the same. Jared has five strikeouts today. Has at least one in every inning except for this one. Will it happen here on the 2-2? Two, two? two gone, bases empty, bottom of the four, still a 3-1 Ram lead. But Anthes is trying to preserve. Here it comes. Ground ball to short. Off the hop, Jones. He'll fire to first. In time. Great throw by Zach. And 1-2-3 go the Crusaders here in the fourth. We'll have to the fifth. Still 3-1 Rams. This is now for the baseball on WMIX. If you want a successful business, you need good partners. And if your need is printing, you won't find better partners than Mark and Carrie Smith. Helping people is what we love. But we need help with our financing. That's why the Smiths and hundreds of local businesses trust Banterra. Banterra is the area's number one financial partner, offering commercial loans, treasury management, and remote deposit services. With Banterra as your partner, you can concentrate on what you do best. Banterra, banking with local style. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. How do you spend your Saturday mornings? Wake up, grab coffee, get something to eat? Why not add a little WMIX Saturday sports show to your Saturday? From 8.08 until 10 o'clock, we have guests, discussion, and fun involving the regional sports topics that matter to you. It's the pick-me-up you need to start your morning off right. It's the Saturday sports show every single week on W. 
WMIX AM 940 and online at MyWithersRadio.com. Presented by Crossroads Community Hospital. More baseball action ahead on WMIX and MyWithersRadio.com. And we welcome you back. It's time for the top of the fifth inning to Whitey Herzog Field. For the Rams will be four, five, and six coming up. Grant Gickard, Colin Young, and Trevor Floto. Rams still on top here, three to one. Chris Hugo, no Denny's are with today. Again, on assignment. Avery Barton is back in the studio. Help to make sure we're online at mywithersradio.com. It's a slow round ball to second. Here, I try to beat it out. Throws in time from Sam Heinrich. It's going to be 4 3 on one pitch. 73 pitches. That was 74 thus far by Lewiski. At the rate he was throwing, he had 29 pitches in the first, 21 in the second. It looked like he'd have been out of the game by now, but it's done a nice job of coming back. Has not allowed the run since the second. See what happens to Young. It's in the dirt, 1 0. First Bank of the Heartland brings you your Player of the Game Award. Your committee, your choice, your bank. For five locations and friends and neighbors on staff will understand your needs. Community First Bank keeps it simple. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Member FDIC will have that POG, of course, in our post game show. 1 0 coming in the dirt 2 0. Good eye by Young. He singled and then grounded into a 5 4 3 double play. 1 for 2 is the Ram DH. As he looks. 2-0 pitch. It's going to be a ground ball in third again. The champion has a cannon. He'll pick it up and fire in time. So 5-3. And with two outs and nobody on, here comes Trevor Pota. See if I have any other South 7 updates today. I don't know. Mary and Cahokia are battling it out. Can't remember the exact location of that one. You know that midway through the third, Benton leads Vernon Hills 1-0. The split of fouls one off. Nothing to one. Those updates will subside from Benton here in a moment as we're in the third down there. Oh, one coming, fouled straight back, going to. Yeah, as we near the bottom of the hour. Probably had time to take care of it there, oh well. Oh, and two is a count here to T flow. Two away, base is empty. Takes in the dirt, low, ball one. Moving quickly for all intents and purposes. We're an hour and five minutes into this one. Next one's on the way, right up the middle for a base hit. So Floater with a two-out base hit. Now will put a runner on for Matty Williams. We'll pause for station identification. This is Rams Radio. You're listening to Rams Baseball on AM 940 WMIX, Mount Vernon, Bloomington, Paducah, and online at MyWithersRadio.com, a free service from Withers Broadcasting. I'll bring up Matthew Williams, runner on, two out here in the top of the fifth, on top three to one, are the Rams. With this key to the left-hander out of the stretch, looks over towards first, fires Williams, sends it through the left side of the infield for another two-out face hit. It will be first and second for Hayden Podinsky. Just like that, the Rams are trying to put together a nice little run here at the top of the fifth. And of course, one of the visits to the mound. Coach Isaac's not liking what he sees. This visit to the mound is presented by Ford Square. There's nothing more attractive than confidence, and yours will be at an all-time high when you buy a new Lincoln at Ford Square. Not only do you get a great offer, you also get a standard four-year, 50,000-mile maintenance plan only from Ford Square, where the best ever rests. Two outs. Here in the top of the fifth is when this conversation comes to you at the hill. The Rams on top, three to one. Tim Holloway and Trevor Floater will talk it over near third base. Ben McClure will make the trek over to the first base bag to get some instruction to Matthew Williams. See what hey, hey, can do here is the call, Nate Fedinsky. He makes a plant. My partner, Danny Zerwinski, is what I call the Polish, or whom I call the Polish power. Of course, in some circles, D.C., the Polish rifle. We'll hear that a lot on our sister station, X-95, and the Big 12-10. Two outs, two aboard here. Top five, three, one is the Ram lead. As Podinsky steps in, shows my full pack, takes it across the plate for strike one, nothing to one. Podinsky walked in the second, later scored. On the fielder's choice by Landon Thomas. Now has two aboard his own RBI chance. Had a couple of them yesterday. Oh, one's coming. 
He'll check his way. No, he won't. No, he won't. I'm Ron Burgundy. We got here now. Maybe an update. Yep. This update here in just a moment. 3 1. Whoa. <laughs> Yikes. Share this update with you now. A nine run third inning for Centralia as they lead Carbondale now 11 to 2. As the Orphans lead to the Terriers. Trying to take them out of the dogs. That's full board updates presented by Tony Wilf State Farm Insurance. For all of your insurance, financial service needs, visit Tony online at TonyWilf.com. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Nothing to two to Peninsky. Lifts this one towards right. Beal will get underneath it to make the play. And we are through four and a half. It's still three to one Mount Vernon. This is Rams Baseball on WMIX. If your definition of local is Southern Illinois and adjacent states, pay no attention to this message. Hi, I'm Joe David Cummins, President of Community First Bank. Others advertise the message of being a local community bank. However, Community First Bank is the only local community bank exclusively serving Jefferson County with five locations and five ATMs. In short, loans and deposits stay local and benefit you. Community First Bank with locations in Mount Vernon, Woodlawn, Dix, and Ina. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Hometown proud Barovia, XIGA. There's a better way to shop today. This is your home for Rams Radio, WMIX. Glad to have you with us as we head to the home half of the fifth inning on top of the Rams 3-1. to one. The 8-9 and 1 coming up here for Alsop on their half of the fifth. And Heinrich, Champion, and Richter. The Vances is back out for another inning of work. Only 54 pitches thrown thus far. Punch shown and it's held off by St. Heinrich right behind him. Should be nothing to one. Rams Baseball is presented by Bantera Bank. Hit a grand slam and go for that account with no hidden fee. Bantera offers a totally free checking account. Bantera Bank, thank you with local style. Remember FDIC, they are the official voice, of course, of your mouth. And the Rams makes the broadcast possible. Rams football, basketball, and baseball, as we have every down, every basket, and every pitch of the mouth and Rams. Nothing in one coming. And that'll be a ground ball to second. Lice well, picks it up, has to get up, took it off a knee, off a pitch. Had to bounce up off his knee after making that play. 4-3 is the retirement of San Hydrick, so one out, nobody aboard now for an athlete champion. Also has select action for the Lady Rams, volleyball, basketball, and softball. Van Sarah makes it all possible. So righty, righty here. Let's see what happens. Anthony's out of the lineup. He'll fire inside. Ground ball to third, just out of the reach of Saunders. And that'll be a base hit. Saunders dove for that one. Knocked it back in the left. And it's a nice job backing up to keep it a single. That puts the runner aboard here for Bryce Richter. Richter became the fifth strikeout victim back in the third. Anthony's still looking for strikeout number six. Those are back-to-back strikeouts in the third to start the inning. Third is also when that lone run for Altoff came across the plate. Anthes looks in, back out of the stretch. More comfortable out of the windup more often than not. Hunt laid down. It's back to Bird. Bird will fire to second for one. They'll get the lead runner. And so that backfires as the punt went right back to the pitcher. Held the bat straight out there. At least he held it up. It ends up going right back to the pitcher. So not a fundamentally sound punt there. And it ends up costing them the lead runner. Stays aboard, however, while Champion has to take a seat. He'll check on the runner. Two outs, the runner on first now for Grant Streaker. He's two for two with a run scored. We're in the bottom half of the fifth inning. Mantera Bank is along with us. Whether retirement is years or months away, open a Mantera retirement account. If it's your lifestyle perfectly, Mantera Bank, thank you with local style. Change up on the outside corner. Nothing in one here. The Streakers will take it. The catcher on deck. Mike Pedersen. Anthes looks over his shoulder. Nothing in one is a count with two gone. The runner going. That's going to be hit and run. Into the left center field gap. This could score a run. Being waved around is the lead runner. As Richter will 
not will make it home. Thought he might have had a tag on the behind there on Grant Garrett after the relay came in. The throw came up the line, putting Garrett in a precarious position. Could have made the tag. And it's three to two as Alsop scores a run. Just missed him. It's another one of those situations where the relay is just a little bit closer. All in all, that was a heck of a throw to even make it possible. Cannons out there in the outfield. Streaker picks up an RBI. He's three for three today. Time called by the batter, Pedersen. That was deep enough for a double. The pen almost made it interesting to play it on the relay. Just came a little bit up the line, third base side. Jared had to reach behind him, try to apply the tag, and Beating runner was just that far ahead and was able to make it safely to make it 3-2. to two. The Rams are going to have to nurse this lead now. Pedersen's still not ready. Took his pads off and got to the plate in plenty of time. Between him and Antis, neither are ready, and now Antis goes to the breaking pitch and fouled off at Pedersen 0-1. He had an RBI double back in the third that scored that first run, and now they're back within a run. Looking for another run batted in to try to tie her up with the tying run on second. 0-1 is the count with two away here in the bottom half of the fifth inning. Which count for Anthony's starting it up there now. He'll look back. Steps off. Let's see what happens the rest of the way. Second Chance Auto is your home for the largest selection of your own vehicles. Priced at $10,000 in one location with bank rate financing for all. Second Chance Auto, Route 142 East. In Mount Vernon, slider that time. Hard slider. It's 0 2. Swung and missed by Pedersen. Pedersen was Anthony's first strikeout victim back at the first. That's when Jared kind of regained control. Time called by the umpire that time. Nothing in two is a count with two away. The tie run on second base here for the Crusaders in the home half of the fifth. As Jared is trying to get out of the inning. Looks back towards second. Takes another look. Fires home. Here it comes. And that is going to be low and away for ball one. Sixty-three pitches here in the fifth. Not, not just in the inning, but total for Jaybird. In the minute, Garrett, for some guidance. Here comes the one, two, high, two, and two. Trying to keep that runner on second base, Thomas. As he represents the tying run. Two, two, precarious position here for the Rams now, with two away in the bottom of the fifth inning. As they try to stay on top of the Crusaders. Here in Belleville, it's Whitey Herzog, Citizens Park. Nice kind of town. Here it comes. Oh, right down the middle, and Anthony's going to strike out number six. Goes down to backwards K. As we're through five, three to two Rams. This is Bound for the Baseball on WMIX. Life is no easy task for anyone. We all want to better ourselves and our financial situation. Feel like you're going nowhere or just ready for a new challenge or wanting the college experience without going deeper into debt? Regardless of your answer, Ren Lake College is your vehicle to a brighter future. With over 100 degree and certificate programs, Ren Lake College can put you on the fast track to a new career or to continue your education. More affordable than four-year universities and private schools, you can save thousands of dollars at Ren Lake College. Summer courses begin June 4th and are already open for registration. Get some of your core courses out of the way during the summer months. Smaller class sizes mean more focus on you and a laid-back atmosphere allowing you the challenge of a great college experience without going deeper into debt. Ren Lake College's counselors are always on hand to help guide you to your new opportunity. Call 437-5321 to set up an appointment or log on to rlc.edu for more information. For more insight, follow us on Twitter at 94 Sports. Back to the Rams on WMIX. And we welcome you back to Rams Case. All the way out of the top of the six. Rams on top of three to two over Alsop. It'll be nine, one, and two coming up here for the Rams. Barring any lineup changes, it'll be Gately, Jones, and Thomas. And this gives out for another inning worth of work. Unofficially, he has thrown 85 pitches. Still 
11 to 2 Centralia over Carbondale. They had a nine run third inning to unlock a tie against the Terriers. That last check, Benson let Vernon Hills will nothing. First pitch of this inning. High and away, but catches it for strike one. So with this guy on the windup, much more effective, and he was a comebacker right at the middle. Three for three is Gately. He gets a leadoff single. So in every inning, I don't know if I start saying every inning, but the, but the fifth, but actually only the first three innings because the Rams lead off batter reach base, and so now the sixth. So Jones with a runner on stands in. One for two today. Had a triple lead off the game. Later score. He'll show bunt. Lay it down first base side. Trying for the base hit. Ladiski's only option is the first. So one three will go. The sacrifice. So now it's Landon Thomas. With an opposite way back in the fourth inning. And it was later stranded. 3-2, your score. Rams baseball, as always, is presented by Banterra Bank. Lead off the season with a Banterra Bank free checking account. Banterra Bank is banking with local style, member FDIC. Two and a half and two with Lodisky out of the stretch. Runner on second, one out. First pitch is inside to the left-handed Thomas, 1-0. We'll have a Bean Insurance post-game show coming up after the game. Bean Insurance is an independent agent. See, they can do the insurance shopping for you. Give them a call, 244-B. 1-0 coming. 1-0 is in the dirt. He gets 2-0. Oh. Nice lead for Gately, and now that's going to be a 2-1 count. Thomas takes a strike on the outside corner. Nice two-saver that time. Well, the disc, he looks back towards second. I believe by Gately to make him nervous. He shitted back towards the back as Ladiski stepped off. See what happens to one. One out here, and he will try to send that out to the way. Late swing that time, and it's foul. Counts even two and two. That's an affinity for point the opposite field. Wouldn't be too bad to see that. Maybe trade places with a runner on second base. Two two is the count. We're going out here in the top of the six. We're going to take it on to a three to two lead. We're back on the air tomorrow against your coin. It's Thomas just gets a piece of that one foul. And we'll keep it alive, however, and continue to increase this pitch count. And 85 coming into the inning. 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93 pitches now. Four of this gets a two two count of the batter. one out and a runner on second. It's Thomas rips that one through the infield. Shadow playing short right fielder Beal. Here comes a possible play at the plate, and we will have a collision. Out is Gately. Advantage to second is Thomas. That was a great relay, 9 2. Has a great block there by the catcher. Pedersen just had a great block, came on up the line, and there's a small collision there as the face of Gately smacks into the catcher's mat. He appears to be okay. But that's two outs now. The run does not score with a runner on the second. Should have been an RBI single, possibly, but a little bit of aggressiveness that time will hurt the Rams on the shallow playing field throw. So it goes a single for Thomas, and then a throw out at the plate. So Zonders will stand in with two outs and an RBI chance with a runner on second. The Rams uses two out RBI from Zane. Scramble stands in, a right hand batter. 1 0 count. Foul tips one. That's 1 1. It's kind of like more of a tip, though. It looked like it was that hard until it hit the fence. Let's see what's going on in Centralia. Spray field there in the J.C. Park. Still 11 to 2 orphans, top of the fifth. Now we'll get away from the catcher on the wild pitch. Thomas will round third. Stay put. Two one is your count here for Zonders. Runners on third base, so an RBI chance here at the top of the six. Rams hanging on to a three two lead. Could use some insurance. See what happens on two one. 
Pitch is on the way. Comeback of the pitcher. It is off the hand. Saunders is racing towards the bag, and he is safe. Because it bounced off the pitcher, there was going to be no chance. It will be an RBI single for Zane unofficially. Of course, not much more generous than most. So he's going to get his hand out for the tip to stop his bare hand. No glove. Ends up making it more difficult than it had to be for San Heinrich, who did not have a play. Tried anyway. Did get away. But on first base is Zane Saunders, and it's 4 2 Rams. Here, looking for your community first bank of the Heartland player of the game. If you're tired of big corporate banking, you have a choice in Jefferson County. Community first bank is at home at Dix, Ina, Woodlawn, and Mount Vernon. Welcome back to Personal Bank. You remember after that, see us, Grant Gary will step in with two outs and the runner on first. The Rams have scored one here in the inning to take a 4 2 lead. First pitch misses outside to Garrett, one and oh. Grant is over two today. He did walk back in the third. But this will fire this time on the 1 0. Garrett sends that towards right field. Back is Beal. He will not make the play around. Second headed for third is Zonders. He'll be held up at third base. We're going to be first and third. Runners at the corner, so it's moved on. Zonders is on his horse and headed to third base. Runners at the corners here for Colin Young, who'd love nothing more than to get a base hit here. Ellis will come out to courtesy run for Grant Garrett. A little bust off the dish. Well, umpires are doing a heck of a job here today. As Colin Young will stand in, looking for the RBI chance with runners to corners and two gone. And he'll smack that one to center, but they're waiting on it as Bryce Richter. So tough luck work there for Colin Young. That'll end the inning. Hit it right where he was, unfortunately. That does it through five and a half. The Rams score another. It's 4-2. This is Rams baseball on WMIX. 68 teams, one dream, one champion. Smith right wing for three. Bring it up. Second triple for Nolan Smith. Duke back on top, 26-24. The NCAA tournament is on. Westwood one. Catch every bounce, basket, and buzzer beater right here. Don't miss the final four on Winners Broadcasting, WMIX 94.1 FM. Hello? This is Hunt Bonin with People's National Bank in Mount Vernon. As a Southern Illinois family-owned bank, we have stayed true to our roots by offering great products and services to the people in our communities. With free checking, free online banking, and free debit cards, we are helping our customers save money while also providing the safety and security they expect from a community-focused bank. People's National Bank, proudly supporting Southern Illinois. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Use bill pay once per month to avoid fees. More baseball action ahead on WMIX and MyWithersRadio.com. And we welcome you back to Whitey Herzog Field. We had at the bottom of the six. Rams got some insurance there. At the top half of the inning, scoring a run. They're up 4-2. to two. Is It'll be Ladisky, Benvenu, and Beal, 4-5-6. and six. They did the order here. This bottom half of inning six. Pitch on the way from Antis. Long on the miss. Uh, Andrew Ladisky swings through, and it's 0-1. The 10 pitch inning last time. Now it's a ground ball to first. Unassisted by Flota. One away. I'm going to do my math again there quickly. Didn't pitch any last time. Two thus far. So 56 pitches thrown by Hansen. Not bad. We'll take that this deep in the ballgame. So not a lot of exhaustion on your pitcher. As a right-handed bat, the form of Austin Pinvenu steps in, swings through a changeup 0-1. Not a lot of fastball. Better he's lost a little bit of velocity. Hell of a more movement than his fastball does. 0-1 wants coming. In the dirt, one ball, one strike. Baseball is brought to you by Banterra Bank. With Banterra the Mobile Bank, you can check your account online from the bleachers. Banterra Bank. Thank you, and Uncle Style. Remember, out the IC is Benvenu, fouls one behind us, one and two. Six strikeouts today for Anthony. 
Well, he gets number seven on a one-two with the one out. Base is empty here in the bottom of the six. Rams hanging on to a four-two lead. One-two is coming. Wasted. Two and two. Rams looking for their first conference win in their first conference game of the 2012 season. Against the Altoff Crusaders. 2-2 coming. Ooh, this side this side. Full count. Jay Bird looks in, takes a breath. Here comes the full count offering. Going to make it close. Fires it past, and that'll be strikeout number seven. Twice today, Ben Venu's been a victim. Seven K's on the day for Jared Anson. A bad day at the yard here for Schaefer. That'll bring up another left hander, Elijah Beal. He had an assist earlier, throwing a runner out at the plate. First pitch to him. Catch the outside corner, left hander's behind, only one. He gets grounded out to first and grounded out to second today. See what happens on 0-1 out of the lineup. Two gone, the base is empty. It's in the turf. Counts even one ball, one strike. A long stare by Anthos. We await the 1-1. Here it comes. He winds and fires. That's an opposite way. Slicing fouls on. There's won't have a chance, but made it look fun. It's 1-2. and two. Great effort by Zane and Paninski to go after a spacious foul territory here at Whitey Herzog. Great facility they have here in Belleville. All top place here and then the Belleville Legion as well. Just a great home in St. Clair County. One, two, the count with two gone. Base is empty. Next one's on the way, and that's going to be sent towards left center. Thomas gives chase. He'll make the grab on the run. So one, two, three, inning. Down go the Crusaders. We'll come back with the top of the seventh. Rams up four to two. This is now for the baseball on WMIX. More Americans are on a move today than ever before. One of the most popular modes of transportation is the motorcycle. Motorcycles take us to our jobs, school, to the beach, and all around the country. If you're a bike rider, your Pekin Insurance Agency, Page Insurance on Crownview and Mount Vernon, wants to make sure you have the best insurance protection while you're riding. Ask about the money-saving auto cycle discount and the experienced driver discount, too. Call Page Insurance at 242-7000 today about motorcycle insurance from Pekin Insurance. If you want a successful business, you need good partners. And if your need is printing, you won't find better partners than Mark and Carrie Smith. Helping people is what we love. But we need help with our financing. That's why the Smiths and hundreds of local businesses trust Banterra. Banterra is the area's number one financial partner, offering commercial loans, treasury management, and remote deposit services. With Banterra as your partner, you can concentrate on what you do best. Banterra, banking with local style. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. Let's go back to the field. Powered by Banterra Bank. And we welcome you back to Whitey Herzog Field, the Citizens Park in Belleville. We had two at the top of the seventh. Rams lead out top, 4-2. It'll be Plona, Williams, and Finesky coming 6-7-8 and eight here for the Rams. Don't forget, you can follow us on Twitter at 94 Sports. First pitch of the inning will be... I did not look up. I was adding up totals at the battle pitch yet. To lead us off. So Bradford stands in behind 0 and 1 as he swung and missed. Next one's on the way. He'll foul that back. Nothing to 2. I don't usually flinch when one hits the backstop or it's off of Bradford's back. Almost that to. Scared the heck out of me. I know that. Nothing to two coming. Misses outside. One ball, two strikes. Not really have any other updates for you, unfortunately. Next one's on the way, low and away. Two balls, two strikes to Bradford. Counts even. If it's worth noting, Lediski is back out there. And now Bradford will smack one right up the middle. A line drive, base hit to lead things off. And that'll bring up Williams. So very productive spot in the order today. As it is now three for three. Loda, two for two. So Brad.
Bradford with a lead off of first base, and that'll get away. Bradford's going to take second base. That did plot Williams. They're going to give him first base. My apologies. Oh, it was just a wild pitch. First and second now. Nobody out for Hayden Fidensky. So 101 pitches come into the seventh inning. I have to think this is all this she rode for Sam Lodisky. See what Coach Isaacs has to say. This is the mound is presented by Port Square and King City Chrysler. King City Chrysler Center has the all new Dodge Caliber. Caliber cranks up the sedan and exudes attitude with every turn. Receive huge cash discounts on the all new Caliber King City Chrysler. And Mount Vernon, don't leave them out there. Figure they're this far along, why not? Seven pitches thus far for the left-handed hurler for Altoff. And now two on and nobody out at the top of the seventh for Hayden Podinsky. We're going to charge to play the spot. He'll lay it down the third base side. Over to third is one, and Hayden Podinsky got himself a bunt single. Great piece of work on the bunt by Hayden Podinsky. Dropped it down the third base side. They charge the second baseman. Great job. That loads the bases with nobody out for Gately, who is three for three today. As the pinch count continues to escalate here, now 108 pitches thrown. By Ladisky, this first pitch to Gately is going to be in the dirt. Runners won't go. That is still too close. As the catcher did a nice job of blocking it to keep it in front of him. It's one and zero here to Gately. Interesting scenario to get some insurance runs here. Although fitting, as we'll have the teen insurance post game show coming up to you after the bottom half of the seventh, possibly. Gailey gets a piece of it. It's a ground ball to second. Their first play is going to be home. They're going to have to tag the runner because the catcher couldn't step on the base. The plate as the throw is up the third base line. So we'll have Bradford out the plate on the fielder's choice, 4 2. Great job by the catcher. He's done a tremendous job defensively. Bases are loaded now with one out for Zach Jones. Sacrificed his last time up. The bases are loaded with one out and a tremendous RBI chance for Jones who tripled back from the first. Right out of the fielder's choice in the fourth. Sacrificed his last time up. Went at the first offering as they're attacking him low and away. Left handers behind 0 and 1. If they go with now with this guy on the stretch, going away again. That time catches the outside corner for strike two. Now Jones with the bases crammed and one out here in the top of seven. But this guy looks in. Catcher sets up outside. Probably going to go identical location. They will, one and two. Catcher stays set up to the outside here. That's up even further outside in an attempt to pull Jones. He'll swing and miss. So with two outs, the base is loaded. In steps Landon Thomas, who singled and scored. Back in the six, he is two for three today. First pitch misses outside to another left hand. There's 1 0. 101 pitches thrown already by Levisky before this inning even started. 1 0 is Kevin. Misses outside to an 0. Now at 116 pitches. In the 2 0 count, bases loaded, top 7 with two gone. Thomas skies that one to left field. Novak will get underneath it, and that'll do it for the Rams in the seventh. They strand the bases loaded, still 4-2. to two. This is Rams Baseball on WMIX. 
If your definition of local is Southern Illinois and adjacent states, pay no attention to this message. Hi, I'm Joe David Cummins, President of Community First Bank. Others advertise the message of being a local community bank. However, Community First Bank is the only local community bank exclusively serving Jefferson County with five locations and five ATMs. In short, loans and deposits stay local and benefit you. Community First Bank with locations in Mount Vernon, Woodlawn, Dix, and Ina. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Here's Jeff Schmidt for Schmidt Chevrolet Cadillac in Centralia. Cadillac, you know, it's a Cadillac. Right now they have free maintenance. You don't pay for an oil change or tire rotation for the four-year 50,000 miles. You get one year free OnStar with navigation. It's got the best warranty in the business with a four-year 50,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty plus a five-year 100,000-mile powertrain warranty. No other car can compete with that. Schmidt Chevrolet Cadillac 1421 West McCord in Centralia. This is your home for Rams Radio, WMIX. And we welcome you back. Last chance for the Crusaders coming here in the bottom half of the seventh inning with no back and Heinrich, a champion coming up. As they will sit up the bottom of the order here in the seventh inning. 4-2 is your Ram lead. Anthes is on. Try to get the complete game. He's only thrown 76 pitches today, unlike his counterpart, who threw 117. First pitch is a ground ball. Slow roller to short. Jones will pick it up, have to hurry. Fires in time, says the infield umpire. So one pitch, one out. That's the way you like to see it here. But down to their final two outs are the Crusaders. Rams baseball is presented by Banter of Bank. Don't get caught looking in an embarrassing situation. Make sure you've opted in your debit card for overdraft purchases. Banter of Bank, thank you with local style member at the IC. Next one is on the way, or I should say the first one on the way to San Heinrich, and he will send that into the left center field for a base hit. He's now one for three today, and that will bring up Champion, who is one for two. One on and one out. Champion pops one sky high. Might bring some more rain. First base side. Float all back to grab. So two away. So now, as they say, the last chance, last out, one on. There's two away here in the home half of the seventh as the Rams are trying to pick up a 4-2 victory over the Crusaders. It'd be their ninth win of the year if they can hang on. It'd be their first conference win in their first try. And we'll see what happens. Bird looks at the runner on first. Eyes him closely as the first pitch of this at bat. It's the bottom, or excuse me, the top of the order. At Richter, it's a strike. Tying run at the plate here in the bottom of the seventh, two outs. With the 0 1 pitch floats away outside. That's even one ball and one strike. For an extra base hit with Vantura's Visa debit card, it provides the convenience of a checking account and a card. Vantura Bank, thank you with local style, member at the IC. Where's the 1-1? One, one? Be right down the pike. Strike two, so down their final strike are the Crusaders. Give you a couple updates real quick. Last check, it was 11-2 Orphans at the top of the pit over Carbondale. Vincent at last check in the third was leading Vernon Hills 1-0. Tony Wilk, State Farm, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. One two is coming, trying to get him to chase, waste his dirt, two and two. Player of the game will be coming up in your being post game show. Quite a few contenders for that award. This account is two to two on Richter. Two outs and runner on first. He's the tying run. He will lift that into right. Sun can play a factor. Williams goes out in the outfield to make the grab, and the Rams will win this one four to two. So the Rams pick up a big win here on the road at Altsoff to improve to 1-0 and in the South 7 Conference. They are 9-2 and on the year, and we'll tell you all about the Bean Insurance postgame show along with your Heartland County postgame stats. This is Rams Baseball on WMAX. If you want a successful business, you need good partners. And if your need is printing, you won't find better partners than Mark and Carrie Smith. Helping people is what we love. But we need help with our financing. 
That's why the Smiths and hundreds of local businesses trust Banterra. Banterra is the area's number one financial partner, offering commercial loans, treasury management, and remote deposit services. With Banterra as your partner, you can concentrate on what you do best. Banterra, banking with local style. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. You're listening to Rams Baseball on AM 940 WMIX. Mount Vernon, Marion, St. Louis, and online at mywithersradio.com. A free service from Withers Broadcasting. It's back and better than ever. Red Lake College Golf Outlet's Super Demo Day on Saturday, April 7th. Major manufacturers' representatives will be on hand to answer any questions about your favorite equipment, plus free balls and fittings. You can test the best golf equipment in the industry. Plus, RLC has outrageous sales all day, including some new drivers, TaylorMade RBZ, Cleveland Classic, and Adams Fast 12, all for just $2.99 each. Save on a short game. Mizuno JPX 800 HD or Adams A12 OS Irons, just $6.99. Callaway Razor XHL irons, just $5.99. Or play the percentages. 20% off all in stock Ping K15 series clubs or Callaway shoes. Also, 30% off select name brand bags. And for one day only, all clothing is 20% off. See how you can get some name brand clubs for up to half off. Come test the latest and greatest equipment and enjoy free hot dogs and soft drinks at Super Demo Day. Saturday, April 7th from 10 a.m. till 4 p.m. at the Red Lake College Golf Outlet off of Potomac Boulevard in Mount Vernon. Your heart health is too important to ignore, and St. Mary's Good Samaritan wants to help educate you about your heart risk factors before it's too late. So mark your calendar and tell your friends about the upcoming St. Mary's Good Samaritan Heart Expo and Health Fair on Saturday, March 24th from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. at the Holiday Inn in Mount Vernon. You'll have a chance to have a heart risk profile blood test completed for just $30, as well as a number of free health screenings, a chance to learn your diabetes risk, Find out more about the link between sleep problems and heart disease and much more. To reduce wait times for blood testing, you are encouraged to pre-register now by calling 1-888-257-6098. That's 1-888-257-6098. For most accurate results, be sure to fast for eight hours prior to blood testing. Do it for your health. Attend the St. Mary's Good Samaritan Heart Expo and Health Fair on Saturday, March 24th from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. Are you looking for an automobile that is capable of 40 miles per gallon of gas? Hi, Roy Schmidt, Ford dealer, Ford Square, Mount Vernon. We have three choices in the Ford car lineup that will achieve 40 plus miles per gallon. For a start, come in and see our 2012 Ford Fiesta that proves that spirited driving doesn't have to drain your pocketbook. Also, you may try the 2012 Ford Focus, which has a 40 mile per gallon highway fuel economy rating. Or, last but not least, Come in and test drive and see our 2012 Ford Fusion Hybrid that boosts fuel economy to 41 mile per gallon in city driving. That is a lot of errands. If you want the Fiesta, Focus, or Fusion Hybrid, any of the three will save you big dollars no matter what the price at the gas pump is. Come see these at Ford Square, Mount Vernon, 1501 Broadway in Mount Vernon, Illinois, where the best never rests. If I could change anything, you know what I'd change? I'd make it a law that if you tell someone to have a nice day, you really have to mean it, 100%. Making your day better than it started out is what makes Erie Insurance above all in service. Auto, home, business, and life. Your Erie agent is waiting for you. And have a nice day. Your Erie agent in Mount Vernon is the Bean Insurance Agency. Get a quote at beaninsurance.net. This is Mount Vernon Rams Baseball on WMIX, the Bean Insurance Post Game Show. Starts now. And we welcome you back to Whitey Herzog Field where the Mount Vernon Rams are at the South Central Conference win. On the road against the Altuff Crusaders, your final is 4-2. Four, four runs on, if we'll get right into the Bean Insurance Post Game Show. I should tell you about Bean Insurance. Of course, chances are you're paying too much for auto insurance. Discounts away to the Bean Insurance Agency. But you won't know how much you can save until you give them a call. Bean Insurance, 242 6017. That's 242-6017. Otherwise, give them a call, 244-BEAN. That number is 244-BEAN. So you look about your Heartland County postgame stats. Four runs on 15 hits, no errors for the Rams. It did strand, believe it or not, 13. Altsov scored two runs on seven hits, had one error. They were stranded five. Aaron Anthes picks up the win. He's now 3 0 on the year. Complete game with Seven strikeouts. He did scatter seven hits, but no 
no walks today, so the limit won for the effort here this afternoon. Again, seven strikeouts on the afternoon for Annis. Annis Lodisky, however, also went the distance, throwing 117 pitches compared to just a total of about 83 for Annis. So big discrepancy there in the difference the pitches throw today for both sides. But Annis picks up the complete game victory, now 3-0 and on the year, has three of the Rams' nine wins. As the Rams are nine and two, outside falls to two and three. They're zero and one in the conference, giving the Rams a one and zero in the South. Seven great day for the Rams. Some of offensively was able to produce some runs early, added some interest in the sixth, scored the first two runs in the first, second run in, or excuse me, third run in the second. And then again, that interest in the sixth was all they would need. Four to two ends up being your final. Those stats are certified by Heartland County. But Heartland County get your business start off right. Heartland County, three thousand Broadway. To be your small business expert. Let's see what's what's left to do here on the Bean Insurance Post Game Show. Not much. We bring your community first bank of the Heartland Player of the Game. We'll do that. Get your Twitter updated. Come back to the Player of the Game. This is Rams Baseball on WMIX. It happens every spring. You need a great quality vehicle. That's where Second Chance Auto comes in. Family owned for the past 32 years. Second Chance Auto has been the cure for spring new car fever. No one has a better selection of vehicles priced under $10,000. Almost all their vehicles come with a generous three-month, 3,000-mile warning. There are no dock fees, no shipping fees, and no processing fees like those new car dealerships. Just low prices. Second Chance Auto, Route 142, Eastern Mount Vernon. Call 244-4582. Second Chance Auto. If your definition of local is southern Illinois and adjacent states, pay no attention to this message. Hi, I'm Joe David Cummins, President of Community First Bank. Others advertise the message of being a local community bank. However, Community First Bank is the only local community bank exclusively serving Jefferson County with five locations and five ATMs. In short, loans and deposits stay local and benefit you. Community First Bank with locations in Mount Vernon, Woodlawn, Dix, and Ina. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Union. This is Mount Vernon Rams Baseball on WMIX. Time now for the Community First Bank of the Heartland, Player of the Game. And welcome back to the Insurance Post Game Show. The Rams win this one on the road at Whitey Herzog Field, 4-2. to two. Chris Hugo with you. Danny Terwinski on assignment today. Avery Barton is back in the studio. We're with you tomorrow for Rams Baseball against Dupuy. It'll be a 4-15 pregame, 4-30 first. Kick up always coming at a bad time. 4-30 first pitch. From the new facilities in Ducoin. We'll be glad to be a part of that for you. Also online tomorrow at mywithersradio.com. Again, four runs on 15 hits, no errors for the Rams. Two runs, seven hits, one error. For the Crusader, Jared Antis picks up the win. Jared Antis, of course, is your committee first bank of the Heartland player of the game. Let me tell you why. A whip of one today. Just seven hits allowed over seven innings. No walks and seven strikeouts. So not a bad effort by Jay Bird here today as he picks up a complete game win and proves a 3-0. Honorable mentions in the lineup. Josh Gately uh, had a pretty good day as well. Ended up going three for four. Uh, Hayden Paniski had a nice start. Both of those guys, Bob Miller, provided a nice punch since they've come into the lineup, making their debut on the year. Trevor Flota had a good day, two for two. Uh, Pat Bradford had a great day as well. Zane Zonders had a pretty good day at the dish. Had a couple of RBIs today. So it was a team effort for the Rams today. Played great defense, had good pitching. What else is new? And they are 9-2 and two on the year. 1-0 in the South, 7 times. Get back on the air tomorrow. 4.15 pregame right here on AM 940. Danny and I will be back with you from Perry County. You won't want to miss that. Stay tuned to Facebook. By tuned, I mean log on. Facebook.com slash WMIX Sports. We're also on Twitter at 94 Sports. Twitter's been updated. We'll try to work on Facebook here in just a moment. As we'll get that all taken care of for you. So back on the air tomorrow. That's going to do it for us today. For Danny Swinski, who's on assignment today. For Avery Barton, who's back in the studio. For everyone at Withers Broadcasting, on behalf of our sponsors, thank you for listening to Mount Vernon Rams Baseball their effort to pick up a big win on the road at Alsop. Four to two, your final. I'm Chris Hugo, so long from St. Clair County. Thank you for listening to Mount Vernon Rams Baseball on WMIX and online at MyWithersRadio.com. Rams Baseball has been presented by the official voice of the Mount Vernon Rams, Banterra Bank. Banking with local style. The Mount Vernon Rams on WMIX are also sponsored in part by Ford Square in King City Chrysler. You can count on us. Community First Bank of the Heartland. 
Welcome back to Personal Banking. State Farm Insurance Agent Tony Wilt. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Second Chance Auto, Good Samaritan Regional Health Center, Raising a Hospital, Raising the Bar, Schmidt Chevrolet of Mount Vernon, Ren Lake College. Visit your virtual counselor at rlc.edu. And also by the Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois, Heartland Accounting, All Stars and Stitches, Bean Insurance, Central Christian Church, and People's National Bank. Your home for news, talk, sports, and America's best music. WMIX, 